guys, this is JT Photography. Had a few people ask me how I get this picture of the year. So we're going to try to replicate that today. This is my first tutorial. Should be interesting. Alright, so here's the original file. As you can see, it's um, very dark. A little underexposed. So we're going to try to add a little HDR effect, which is a high dynamic range. And if you're not used to Lightroom, most of your stuff is done here in basic. So you have your exposures, your brightness, your contrast. This I would mainly would use for the main adjustments. The tone curve, usually a lot of people use this for their main adjustments to bring out the make things a little pop a little more or bring out a darkness. Um, I just reset that. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with adjustment brushes. So first, let's uh, I just put everything away. So you have to wait to go to Lightroom and just make everything go away. So hop over to the to the uh, development module. We're going to hit tab to get rid of the two sidebar, sidebars, so it brings back our main one. And then hit T to get rid of the bottom bar, and hit F twice to full screen it. Okay. So the first thing we want to do is we're going to grab brushes, and we're going to use our dodge tool. Um, no, actually, we won't use the brushes first. First, let's um, increase the exposure. You don't want to make it too contrasted because then it's fake. And as you can see in the picture, there's a lot of noise, but we'll get rid of that in a second. We'll get rid of it later. Alright, so these little pixels that you have here. Make the picture all big. You might want to bring up recovery. Recovery just kills out the highlights. Let's add a little fill light to add. It's going to add a little noise, but we're going to fix everything. So don't worry about it for right now. Right, next, okay, so we're going to hop on over to the tone curves. And I want to bring the shadows out a little more. I don't want this to be my main adjustment, I just want it to be a slight adjustment. So we're going to go to our darks. And we could do on lights. We could do light. And highlight. Now we're going to head over to our adjustment brushes. Like I said, we're going to go down, take our dodge tool. Um, yours might look like this for right now. So what we're going to do is, all you do is hit this little arrow over here, and it brings down all the settings for the brush. You can always make your own brushes and then save them as presets. Make sure that your auto mask is off and your feather is on. 
so we're just gonna melt and melt. Mostly this this side over here. Maybe a little bit of sheet. And we might fold up this a little bit as well. So I'm just doing a shrink and then use the brush. I'm just gonna go up and down the brush. Get over these colors. Okay, now, if you want to see what we did, all you got to do is uh, press O on the keyboard. Oh, there it is. And then whatever spots you want to see, you can simply just go right over here. Um, let's say that our Let's say you highlight something from under the eyes. So let's say let's say I went over here and did this. And let's say I'm making O. Now the streaks come right. Then I want to increase, hit Alt, hold Alt on the keyboard, and I can do it. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is try to increase the exposure just a hair more. Okay, so we're gonna hop, we're gonna hit new up here, and we're gonna go to our burn or open brush, and it does the exact opposite. So we're gonna make this a little smaller, and we're gonna darken up. A little too big. Now we're going to go back to our 
solid bush. I'm going to line it up like that. Just to start off with. Down. Even though we're just like there, now we need another bush. <laughs> we're gonna need four. Uh, that's not what I need, but. Size it up. At this point, I'm not going to need that. But yeah, now it's going to be starting to get a little bit brighter. Going from like this is not going well. I'm going to draw this out here. Oops. Oh, I'm going to need to draw it here.
Thank you. 